welcome to another video. Roofers have turned up to do my kitchen roof. That's really exciting. Although they did come across something that they weren't expecting. And Tony started building my birthday present. So I'm sure you've all guessed what it is by now, but you get to see him build it anyway. And while we we're out looking for my birthday present, I came across something yeah. that I've never seen before, which tickled me. So I'll show you what that is. Anyway, enjoy the video. And if you do, please give us a thumbs up. Started. This is a before shot. Uh, well, at least was a little bit of insulation, not a lot though. And there's a big steel across the middle. I wasn't expecting that. I'm not sure if the roof was expecting that because that's where my window is meant to be going. So get a view from this end. So it was all covered in moss and horrible. But it won't be long and it'll be covered with something new. <laughs> Tony's trying to help, but he's just getting in the way. Um, there's a big steel across here. Is it? Right across the middle. Uh -huh. So we were just saying that's where the window's meant to be going. Oh. Yeah, there wasn't a huge amount of insulation under there. There's little bits. Oh. Uh, and what used to be, what used to be a, a skylight, but it doesn't let any light in now. Oh, that's exciting. It's going to be all neat and tidy. I don't know what colour we chose, it's been so long. Well, we've had no rain overnight, but we think the river is still rising. Let's go and have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, my word. Yes, it's definitely rising. Oh, well, it's beautiful down here. Very peaceful this morning. It's still very early in the morning. We had to get up early because the roof was coming. <laughs> Let's go and see. Oh my word, yeah. Oh, well, it's risen. It's definitely risen. Because it's now over the our bottom step here. And it was just lapping that gently, that step under there. Yeah, it's definitely risen again. Probably only a couple more inches, but... Wow. Okay, let's do the archway picture. There's not much archway left on the bridge up there. I think they must have had quite a bit of rain further downstream, upstream that's fed into this. It's actually quite pretty. Oh, it's coming up the steps. We're just looking at that beautiful blue sky. It's actually quite chilly this morning because the sky's been clear all night. Tony's come to inspect his cement. Is it all set? Yes. Oh, it's looking a bit sparkly, actually. Solid, though. So Tony's already been to the builder's supplies to get some more sand and cement. So that's your job this morning, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. But yeah, what a beautiful morning. Oh, yeah. Can you hear the woodpecker? Hmm. And the sun glinting off. I know that water's high, but it does look pretty with the sun.
huge, that steel then going across here. Oh, it's not huge, but that's what we wasn't expecting a steel to be on there, were we? I said, is it a problem? And he said, he can, the coupe, he cut it. So he's obviously got tools to do that. I suppose you grind it off with the grinder, probably. It's not, it's not giant, but it's, uh, I wasn't expecting it. I was just assuming it was going to be timber. There's quite a lot, quite a lot of weight on those uh, sheets. Yes, I suppose. Yeah, they're heavy, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're like cement, aren't they? Yeah, concrete sheets. Yeah. Concrete sheets, yeah, they're very, very heavy. So that was supporting the concrete sheets on the roof. Yeah. Oh, got my shadow on your back here, Tone. <laughs> hey, look, nice to see a bit of sunshine. Don't get a shadow without the sunshine. Sorry about the flickering lights. Tony said to get up there and cut the beam out because there was an unexpected metal beam. So there's already a lot more light coming through there. Now they've taken off the what were see-through panels above it, but they were absolutely clouded over and covered in moss. So there was no light coming in here. It looks bright already. I'm getting a Velux window put in. It won't be as big as that, but it will be clear. <laughs> so, unexpectedly, when they took the panels off, there was a big metal beam across the middle to hold the weight of the panels. And they're now having to cut through it and make a, a separate frame so that they can put the window in. After this, and then decide what to do with the kitchen. So, as you can see, they've put um, props up to support what part of the beam that they're cutting off, I think, so that it doesn't fall through that plastic bit. Uh, oh, actually, no, I think the props are support the other side of the beam. Oh, interesting. I can see from out. Oh, I'm not under it, isn't it? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, Tony's been to collect more sand. Are you not involved with the steel, Tony? Pardon? Are you not involved with cutting the steel beam? Well, I want to be involved. I want to be up there. And, uh, but they, they seem to know. They don't want my help. <laughs> I've given them more cutty words and things, but... Well, you're giving him some steel, though? Yeah. Right, OK. Yeah, I'm sure it'll get sorted. You've got much more important jobs to do. It looks messy up there. <laughs> upstairs now to see probably get a better view from up here oh ah they've shut the shutters on the window probably to protect the window or oh, is that so I can't see oh yeah they've shut the shutters on on these windows oh well, that's good bless them so they don't break the windows let's have a look through this one ah, I can't see a lot He's going to cut the other end now. Nothing's ever simple, is it? And it's spraying the sparks all over what looks like my brand new window sitting on the roof over there. <laughs> I don't think it's going to do any damage. Anyway, problem sorted, we think. Tony had some steel that they could use. Tony's actually a bit miffed that he hasn't been involved in doing it, <laughs> as Tony always is. I'm quite glad that he's not.
Yeah, it looks a mess, doesn't it? Well, you can see my window a bit better now over on the other roof there. It's going to be big and it's going to be double glazed. <laughs> Cut in the other end. Ah, is that it? Is he through? I think he might be. I was going to cut the other end again. Whoa! <laughs> Oh dear. Well, the spots were coming in the kitchen then. Brilliant. Time. Get <laughs> your steps down. My oh, little ones. Oh. Yeah. It's going that in. It's coming through that in. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently someone's holding it up from above. Oh, here we go. Hey! <laughs> oh, they've got the steel off, have they? They've lifted yeah. it off, I think. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I can see the shadow of it. Tony now, he's took it down on his shoulder. He has to get involved. Yeah. Way! I'll shut the doors again. There we go. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? I'm glad it's not raining. <laughs> I moved a lot of stuff out of my kitchen. They did say I didn't need to. <laughs> I think they're having more of a fight with a bit of plastic than they did with the piece of metal. Oh, it's noisy. I tried that. It won't close properly, Tone. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's good. We knew it was going to be messy. Ooh. 
Oh, shame it isn't light, as light as that in my kitchen all the time. It won't let as much light as that in, but it will let quite a bit. She's brilliant. <laughs> Well, it's probably about an hour or so since I filmed it last time. And I think it might have actually gone down very slightly. I'm not sure. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's just sort of lapping on that bottom step. I hope it's going down. It's still going very, very fast. It's beautiful this morning. I could sit out here for ages with a cup of tea, but I can't make a cup of tea. Because, because the guys are doing the roof over my kitchen, they can't go in the kitchen at the moment. Ha! Never mind. I'm going around the market instead. Market day. It's such a lovely day out here in the potter's yard. I uh, just can't be inside for the moment, so I've decided to do, instead of doing some editing, which I was meant to be doing, <laughs> I've decided to do some pruning of the grapevine and clear up this area. Um, they're having a, um, St. Patrick's Day over the road. Oh, is it? Set me off on oh. the 16th. Oh, okay. That's the day after St. Patrick's Day. Oh, okay. Your sister will be here. That'd be good. Should we book it? Yeah. That'd be nice, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we need at least need a table for three of us. Right. We could ask the boys, though. Yeah. They want to join us. Yeah. It's more frit, but I'm sure they'll have an option that I can yeah. eat or that Stuart can eat. Mm. Are they having Guinness? Yeah. Yeah, it says Guinness on the board, so they haha <laughs> it's only yeah. Only likes a Guinness. Yeah, that'll please him. Okay, we'll book it. That'll be fun. We'll ask the boys first and see if there's three of us or five of us. Super warm out here. It's lovely. I could almost get a suntan. Yeah, we just realised Patrick and Stuart won't be able to come with us. They have another engagement that weekend. I would have chosen anyway, so. Yeah, nice and tidy. Yeah. So is that, by the way? Eh? Hey? So is that, by the way? Not Quick. that vine, yeah, it looks so yeah. much different, doesn't it? Just from yeah. it chop back and putting the weeds out. Yeah, I'm still battling the ivy. I keep pulling it out at the bottom. Yeah, good. And making these little brambles. Yeah, they're nasty stingers. I didn't know until Donna came over that they don't have stinging nettles. Well, not where Donna comes from. She's never come across them before. I thought they were worldwide. People, what they're talking about. This is what we call, in, if you're in the UK, you know the, what these are. But if you're not come across them before, these are what we call nettles, stinging nettles. And they give you a really nasty rash. And these are only tiny baby ones, but they would still hurt a lot. And it hurts for two or three days afterwards. And they put these bloody roots under the ground and they spread like wildfire. So if you don't get all the roots out, they keep popping up. But they are good for the birds and the insects and you can actually eat them. Like spinach. And they make nettle tea out of them. But yeah, I don't. Just try and keep on top of them.
they, they do have lots of nutrients in them so they're good to make a, a fertilizer out of a lot of people um, put them in a bucket of water it gets a bit smelly but it makes a really good fertilizer it's difficult to keep the weeds down along this bit I mean either end I put a little bit of salt down but that big Obviously you can see where it goes into the ground, that's the vine, and I don't want to kill the vine. So I didn't put any salt anywhere around there where it might drain into the ground where the vine is. So much tidier, <laughs> so much tidier and bigger when you clear it up. Yeah, I know. What have you done with the rake? I'll put it away. Do you want it? Um, I might do. Do you want it? Yeah, please. Um, can you grab my little trowel? Trowel? Trowel, please. If you just rake lightly, that pulls all the wheat out. It pulls some of them out, but it yeah. misses some of them, and it's got the fabric underneath it, so right. sometimes it's a bit awkward. Right. So, yeah. It's been a wee bit frosty this morning, but not now. Yeah, you stay there. That's a lot better. Yes. Right, we've had a bit of rain overnight, so I'm going to see what that's done to the river. Actually, I can see from here the river's gone down. Can you hear all that noise where it's splashing over the weir? It's definitely gone down. Oh, that's good. So it doesn't affect us. When it rains here, it affects further down the river. Uh, as you can see, the water's now not on our bottom step. Well, it's just on that corner. Oh, it's left a nice sludge all over it. Lovely. Anyway. Yay, it's going down. Because we had a beautiful day yesterday, so it must have dried it up a little bit. That's good to see. Anyway, didn't come out here for that. Tony started building my present. <laughs> You must have guessed what it is by now. You must have a good idea anyway. I'm still going to film him building it. Because it's exciting. Yeah. He's going to take the timber off of his cement. Had a tiny bit of rain, but that doesn't matter now because the cement's dry enough. Yes, it's dry. So, busy day today then. How long do you think it's going to take you? Uh, what did it say on the instructions? Half a day. It says half a day for two people? Yes. So, um, who Does knows? this mean you might need my assistance at some point? Maybe. I, I do need, desperately need to do no, some editing. Brush. I'll lift this up and brush it up for me. Yeah. This time, just for you, Maureen, there's no music. Enjoy. Tony had to keep um, asking me to read the instructions to make sure that he'd got it right, to see if I could see anything different from him because they were very confusing and the pictures kept changing around to different sides and inside and outside and we got there or well, we almost got there there was a mini shower it's stopped now though it's a bit spitty though isn't it yeah. but yeah have you guessed what it is yet no. <laughs> it must know by now hinge right or hinge here oh uh, I reckon that way. Hinge here. Okay. Is there going to be some way of hooking it on something? Does it go flat back? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes, it's very exciting. Oh. Actually, 
way. I'm gonna use this. This used to be one of those little zip up mini greenhouse things, but eventually, after a couple of years, the plastic all cracked. The plastic zip up thing. It worked all right for a couple of years and it was cheap. Oh. Oh, this is what you were complaining about the instructions. <laughs> it's never simple, is it, Tone? No. Oh, it's spitting again. Yeah. Right, what I'm going to do then is set the camera up in a different angle so that it's not getting wet. Okay. Clear spot over there, though, right? Yeah, I know. It's coming our way, the blue bit. Oh, I'm getting all excited, Tone. <laughs> First time I've ever had a greenhouse. Who guessed it was a greenhouse? Come on, you lot. Of course you guessed it was a greenhouse. Probably, probably about two days ago. It's exciting though. And this is a birthday present. And it's not one of the most expensive greenhouses. I think it was around about 360 euros, which is about 325 pounds. Obviously we've had to pay out for the base. Tony had to go back and top it up, but the first time, which did about two thirds, I think came to around 170. So add another half as much again. Yeah, probably about 240 for the base. Oh, some of that was some screws. So yeah, it's probably about 220 for the base. So just under 600 euros. Euros are similar to dollars. Uh, slightly less in pounds would be about 540. So eventually this probably will pay for itself because it means I'm going to get some earlier crops and a bit more growing space. So it will eventually pay for itself. <laughs> but it's exciting anyway, because this is my hobby anyway. It means I can get a longer season. I can grow a lot more of my own seedlings. Now the weather wasn't as good as the day before. Although there were bits of blue sky, it started clouding over and the wind started picking up. And there was still a lot of to in and fro in and looking at instructions and discussions and moving things about. And it was taking Tony longer than he thought it was. And then it started to rain. He wanted to carry on, but as you can see the sheet in the corner there, I tried to cover the camera up with Tony's motorcycle cover. I wrapped it around that shelf frame. And it worked for a while, even the sun came back out for a little bit, but the wind was still picking up. So although he was cracking on with building the frame, there were still the flimsy panels that had to go into the frame. And he was getting a bit more worried. He had, see, he put the piece of timber on the back that was holding part of the frame still because it was all moving about in the wind a lot. There goes the panels and, and they are... I wouldn't say they're a thin plastic, but they, yeah, they would break with a strong wind. Once they're in the frame, they're very rigid. And I'm actually very impressed with the greenhouse. But as you can see, those those two posts on the front are wobbling around in the wind. Bless him, he carried on regardless. He was getting cold and I kept bringing him cups of tea and coming to help. We've come to Jardiland, which is a garden centre in France. Have a look round. And I've just come across this, I've never seen one before. Toiletage Libre service. It's a self service dog wash. It's nine euros. That's brilliant. <laughs> You're studying those instructions there, Tone. Is it a my, tough bit? I'm just doing my bloody eddy. <laughs> Oh dear. Can I help? Not really. I wish you could. How? What? What's what's the problem? I don't know. It's, I don't know whether I've done this right or not. What? I 
think I have I don't know. Oh, it looks quite bit. flimsy, doesn't it? Yes. Right, do you want me to have a look? No, See I if think... I read it differently to you? Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Oh, you see, so bits slide in there. You see if I've done that right. See what I've done there? Right. I'm not quite sure, but yeah. This is... This is... Which step are we on? Or are you on? I've slid the two panels in. Over that bit of perspex there. See? Two panels. Two side oh, pieces. Oh, the two side pieces here. Yeah. Yes, yes. Then you've got a cross piece here. No, then you've got that bit of plastic in there. That's the bit of plastic I've shown you there. Oh, right, okay. Then you've got the cross member, which is here. Oh, yeah. So what's that piece? Right. The window's ripped up quite a bit. And these panels are quite flimsy. Until they're all in the frame, when they're not so flimsy, they're all quite flimsy. Unfortunately, that's what they make greenhouses out of these days. If you want to spend fortunes. What's the plan then? Oh, and Tony's motorcycle cover whipped away in the wind and he's now stuck up the tree. We're hoping it's going to blow off the branches in a minute. It, it came down a couple of levels and got stuck again. And we can't reach it. Oh. Anyway, what's the plan, Tony? It's up. calmed down a bit now. No, it's blustery. Oh, Let's OK. Look at the bloody sky. Well, see, while Tony's constructing this, it's still quite flimsy, and the flimsy. wind... <laughs> flimsy? Flimsy, yeah. And the wind is actually whipped up quite strong, hasn't it? It's quite gusty. I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to walk it over to, to, to the vine, and stick it next to the vine. No. Yes. Why? Because I can't finish it. Well, why don't we just take it indoors then? How do I take it indoors? Well, how do you take it over there? It won't how be flat. How do I take it through that gap. Oh, good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, because the weather's turned nasty, you're not going to finish it today now. No. Right. But then again, if we were to secure these, it's not to 60, those. It's not sixty grand. Yeah, but we could put we could put sandbags on it, couldn't we? We've got some bags of sand. Can't put sandbags over there, though, can we? No. Well, is it worth temporarily fixing it over that side? Just no, so that it's no, because there's no stability to it. No, this is the trouble, isn't it? Until it's all complete, when it will be more rigid. Oh well, yes. Um. Like we're gonna pick it up. But if we pick it up, move it over there. Why? Because at least it can go against the wall. And what's that going to achieve? Well, to stop it blowing away. Can we not fix it to here? How can I fix that? In? I don't know. Neither do I. Um, the other thing. Oh, you can't slide any of these panels out again now, can you? No. So I was going to say because you could have put something across the bottom. Right, um, what have we got that's super heavy? Hey? Paving slabs? How can you put a paving slab on that? See? In the corners, oh. Well, we could tie it down with something, anchor it down. Uh, we could anchor the whole thing down, couldn't we? Somehow? Gets up really bad. Yeah, that's easy. what I'm worried about now. Take it all apart. Oh, His face. <laughs> it's already blowing lots of things over. That's a bit scary that it whipped up that bad. Um, oh, don't. Right, so what do we do then? We can't. Is it heavy? No, it's fine. Well, could we both lift it over that fence? Find another bloke here. Yeah, oh, sorry. I oh, know. I'm not it. Superwoman, but well, we that's why I'm asking if it's heavy. No, it's not heavy. Or the other option is to screw something into these posts and brace it somehow. No, we're going to 
can lift it up and move it over there. But I can't see that how that's going to stop it's it going blowing to go away. The wall. Yeah. Well, that's the idea. All right. Okay. You're inside here like this. Okay. Let me put the thing over here. Oh, it, it, did that just blow over again? No, I pushed it over. Why? So it wouldn't blow over again. Well, because it blew over because it had the sheet on it. Which is now stuck up the bloody tree. Right. Isn't it annoying when something fun turns into something yes. that's a pain? Right, apparently we're going to move it. And where Tony is over near the wall. Are we going to secure it to the wall then? No. I'm going to is the doorway thing. going... Next to the wall or what? 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 Is the doorway going next to the wall? That doorway there is going where that shoot of that vine is. Okay, right, come on then. You're and in here. I'm carrying it from here. You're in here and I'm going to go in the back. And I'm going to walk straight into the vine, am I? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, it's only one to Okay, light your light. Yeah, it's not heavy. Sticking out a little bit, look. No, no, no. So move it that way a little bit or something. There's, there's things everywhere sticking out. Just move it. Just get it next to the wall. Yeah. I can't get it next to any of the closer to the wall. Look. There's things everywhere. We've pushed that over with this. Sorry? We've pushed it over with I this. I've got to get out yet. Yeah? You're, you are. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm going to get out. I'm a bit worried about the doorway bit, look. Can you get round then? Yes. If I balance it. Push it through. Hold it here. Yeah. Hurry up then. Glasses. Don't need your glasses. Go round the other side. Right, ready? Yeah, Tony wanted to finish that today. Never mind. Uh, now the sun's come out again, you wouldn't think it was blustery. Uh, have another go tomorrow, Tony, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be anywhere near long enough. What have you reckon if you tied them together? Oh, I don't know, yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> oh, it's really annoying. I don't know how much a new motorbike cover is, but I'm a bit more worried about it. Ended up going in the road or something and causing an accident. Or in the river. Things we do. Oh, will that go inside that one?
<laughs> I don't think I don't think you're going to be able to manoeuvre. It's going to be so long and bendy. Yeah. What do you want? Up this end? <laughs> I don't think it's even going to go anywhere near it. You probably need at least three. Oh, that's got the fishing line on the end, hasn't it? Oh, you might actually, oh, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> you have to wait till it stops blowing. <laughs> it needs, ah, oh. <laughs> that's got no control over it. <laughs> Go on, Tone. It's got like a stretchy bit around it, so if we could sort of hook it into the bottom of it, he might be able to pull it this way to get it off the branch at least. It keeps blowing around, it's like a, like a dead balloon. Or a parachute. Oh. Oh, well done. Oh, go on. Wash it over this way. <laughs> I'm gonna get it in a minute. I think it moved. Oh, it's so far out of reach. It's blowing it in sort of the right direction to get it off of the branch. Ah, oh, well done. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's coming, it's coming down, time. It's just on the tiny tip. Well, hey, quick catch him, catch him. Ah, <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Don't end up in the river! Hang on, hang on! Oh, I can't handle the sticks too big! <laughs> yeah, time! Oh, time! Oh, well done! Oh, I'm glad it didn't end up in the river, or you. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Right. Oh. We've used those bamboo things for a lot of things, haven't we? <laughs> yes. Fishing rods, plant props, and now to rescue your bike cover. Well done. Best we tie it down then. Tie it down quick. Indoors. That's yeah, it. indoors. You can probably hear it, how windy it is. It's pretty cold now. Now the sun's gone round. Oh, shame. I thought you was going to finish that today, never mind. Try again tomorrow if the weather's okay. Oh, the indoor greenhouse. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, um, is that going to be enough to hold that down? Because it's the wind is coming through here as well. Sandbag. No, I'll tell you what. Put it against the post. Just put it against the post, yeah. Yeah, and then what? Hang on. It's not quite against the post. I don't know. Oh, I see what you mean. All right. Oh, still worried about it. I should be hearing bangs and crashes in the night and I'm yeah. thinking it's my greenhouse being smashed. Indoors, oh, oh, it's cold. Yeah, we need to thaw out. And I need to finish editing. And there's been a lot going on this week. Anyway, you'll get to see the rest of it next time. You can get to see the roof finished and hopefully the greenhouse finished. So thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, then please do that. And if you click the notification bell, then you'll get a message to say that a new vlog is out. Anyway, click the like button for us, please, if you did if you did like it. I <laughs> hope you did. If you'd like to support the channel, you could buy us a coffee. I'll put the link for that in the description. 
and the QR code will be on the screen. We'll see you all again soon. I'll be until.